Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, section 7.3, Solving Equations Using Multiplication or Division, Lesson. Pause while you write section 7.3, Lesson, in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use properties of equality to solve equations. Today we'll be starting on page 310 in your math textbook. Example 1, we're solving equations using multiplication. So our first step is always to write the equation. We're solving the equation w divided by 4 equals 12. So since the 4 and the w are connected by division, then we need to multiply to undo the division. So when we undo the division, we're left with a w on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we multiply 12 times 4. So that gives us w equals 48. We check our answer. Always remember to do the check step so that you get 100% on everything. And we fill in 48 for the w back into our original equation. So we have 48 divided by 4. Does, is 48 divided by 4 12? Well, yes it is. So 12 equals 12. Our equation is true, so we got it right. We can move on. Let's look at letter B. It might seem a little tricky, but so we have to kind of go slow and think it through. Solve 2 sevenths x equals 6. 2 sevenths x equals 6 has this nasty fraction in it. So you need to be sure you write the equation first and look at it and recognize that the 2 sevenths and the x are kind of stuck together there by multiplication. So in order to undo that multiplication, we're going to divide. But when we divide fractions, remember that we divide them by multiplying the reciprocal. Remember, we keep change flip. So even when we're dividing fractions, we're multiplying. So it looks like we're multiplying, but we're really dividing. So if we multiply something by on one side, we have to do the same thing to the other side. So in order to get rid of our 2 sevenths on the left, we have to multiply it by 7 halves. So that cancels each other out, and we end up with x on the left. And since we multiplied the left side by 7 halves, we have to multiply the right side by 7 halves. And 7 halves times 6 equals 42 over 2, which simplifies down to 21. So the solution is x equals 21. Let's move on to example two, solving an equation using division. Solve 5b equals 65. Write the equation, that's always your first step. And again, our coefficient and our variable are multiplied together, as always. And so since they're multiplied, we need to use inverse operations and undo the multiplication undo the multiplication with division. So the 5 goes away on the left and leaves just the b, and then we have to divide the right-hand side by 5 as well. So 65 divided by 5 equals 13. So then we check it, and 5 times 13 equals 65. It checks out, and we're good to go. Example 3, our real-life application. The area of the parallelogram shaped courtyard is 2,730 square feet. What is the length of the sidewalk? So it says the height of the parallelogram represents the length of the sidewalk. Area equals base times height. Substitute 2,730 for area. So that's what we did over here on the left. And 65 for base. 
So that's the long side is the base. So we're solving for height. So since these two are multiplied together, we need to use the inverse operation of division to solve for h. So we divide both sides by 65. So that goes away and leaves us with an h on the right. And then we need to solve the left-hand side by dividing 2,730 by 65. And when we do that, we get 42. So 42 equals h. So that means the sidewalk is 42 feet long. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 7 below. They're also on pages 310 through 311 of your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.